Hello fellow internet, I am Noman Islam. In this video, I am going to show you how can you install WordPress on Nginx server in AWS EC2 instance and integrate with Cloudflare. You need to first log in with your Amazon console. After that, open up EC2 instance. EC2 stands for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud provide scalable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Services, AWS Cloud. Using Amazon EC2 eliminates your need to invest in hardware upfront, so you can develop and deploy applications faster. After opening your EC2 dashboard, you can see this is our EC2 dashboard. Go to Instance. At the top of the right corner, you can see launch instance. Click here. Scroll down. Now I'm going to choose Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS. Select it. Ubuntu Server is a server operating system developed by canonical and open source programmers around the world that works with nearly any hardware or virtualization platform. It can serve up websites, file shares, and containers, as well as expand your company offerings with an incredible cloud presence. Now you can choose an instance type. This is by default choose E2. This is microservice. At the top of the bottom, you can see configure instance detail. Click here. Now you can see configure instance detail. We don't need to choose anything. Go to default. At the top of the bottom, you can see add storage. Click here. Here, you can add storage. By default, this is 8 GB. Now I'm going to choose 25 GB. And this pop-up display up to you can choose 30 GB. At the top of the bottom, you can see at text, hit here. Now I'm going to add a key. And below, you can choose anything. In my case, wp noman At the top of the bottom, Secure security group, click here. Now you can name your security group. Now I'm going to copy this security group name and paste it here. Add rule. Select HTTP. This is by default take put 80. Add another rule for HTTPS and it will take 443 port. At the top of the bottom, you can see review and launch. Click here. Now you can review what the instance you are created. As you can see, we are select storage 25 GB. Now at the top of the bottom, you can see launch. Click here. It will display this pop up. Select an existing key pair or create a new key pair. Now I'm going to choose create a new key pair. Here you can see key pair type RSA algorithm and this is ED25519 algorithm. This algorithm take for high performance laptop. If you are using low configure laptop, you can use RSA algorithm. This is available. You can choose your key pair name. In my case, wp numan dash dash block. Now hit download key pair. Remember, you have only one chance to download this key pair after install your instance you cannot download it so you need to 
Save this keep here. Now scroll down. At the top of the bottom, you can see launch instances. Click here. You can see launch status. Your instance are now launching. Scroll down. At the top of the bottom, you can see view instances. Click here. You can see our instance WP Noma. This is running step and status it will check. You need to replace it. This is now initializing. It will take a couple of minutes. You need to just refresh and wait till it is checked. It will take up to four to five minutes. You need to refresh. As you can see here, our instance status checked. Now I'm going to create an elastic IP and bind with this instance. This is pretty simple job. You can see this is our EC2 dashboard. Now scroll down. As you can see inside network and security elastic IP. Right click on your mouse. Open link in new tab. Now we are going to allocate Elastic IP address. Click here. By default, it will check public IPv4 address pool, Amazon's pool of IPv4 address. Hold on. Hit allocate button here. Now you can see this is our Elastic IP address. At the same time, you can see private IP address null, associated ID null, because we need to bind it with our EC2 instance. Before doing, we are going to name it wp noman elastic IP. Same. Now go to actions. Hit associated elastic IP address. You can see resource type instance. Hold on. Instance. Click here. We are before create wp noman. This is our instance name. You can check. This is our instance. Now we are going to select it. And also it will take private IP address. By default, it will select it, but you can also copy it from here. This is our private IPv4 address. You can check. Now, hit associate button here. As you can see, this is our elastic IP address. And this is associated instance ID this. This is our EC2 instance ID. You can match. 
and this is private IP address. Also, you can check this is private IP before address. Now, our elastic IP address, this is associated with this instance. You can see. Now, you can also check here, scroll down, elastic IP address now. Just refresh your instance and check your instance. For long, you can see elastic IP address bind with this elastic IP address. Copy this IP address, open up your browser. Now, open up your file manager, go to downloads. Before we are download wp noman blogpem This is private key. Copy it desktop. This is the file. Now, for your understanding purpose, this is putty. You can download putty. By default, you can get putty generator. Now, I am going to paste our private PEM key inside putty generator. It will display successfully imported foreign key. Hit OK. Now you can simply save private. After getting this pop up, hit yes. You can name it. Remember, this is our key name. You need to name it. Otherwise, this is not worked. WP dash Numan dash blog. Hit save. As you can see, this is saved dot PPK format. Now close this. Now open up putty. Open up your browser. Copy your elastic IP address. This is our elastic IP address. Copy it. Simply paste it here. And also save session. Save it here. Also save sessions. Paste it here. After that, hit save. Now go to connection inside SSAs. Go to auth. Routes. Now we are going to select this dot pem file. This is display here. Open it. Now I am going to connection. Select pipe. Enable TCP. Keep alive. This is not recommended. You can do it. After getting this putty security alert, you can accept. Now you need to log in with your Ubuntu server. By default, Ubuntu username is Ubuntu. You can enter. As you can see, successfully Ubuntu server run. Now I'm going to update our Ubuntu server. Enter. Now I'm going to update our Ubuntu server. Go to APT upgrade password. Hit enter.
Now I'm going to install nginx sudo apt install nginx dash y hit enter. Now I'm going to start the nginx on sudo systemctl start nginx enter. Now I'm going to enable nginx. Enter. Now you can check our nginx server working or not. Open up our browser, copy this elastic IP address and open a new tab. Nginx, our nginx are successfully installed and working well. Now I am going to open a new tab. Go to software. You can log in with Cloudflare. This is our domain. Go ahead. Go to DNS. Add record. Type A. Your domain name, choose anything. This is our subdomain. In my case, WordPress. We are going to pass this IP address. You can pass your instant domain IP address because we are going to create this subdomain. Just hit save. Now open up, go back your EC2 instance, go to services. Go to Route 53. Amazon Route 53 is a highly available and scalable cloud domain name system, also called DNS service. Enables to customize DNS routing policies to reduce latency. After open, Route 53 dashboard, go to hosted zone. Now inside hosted zone, create hosted zone, click here. Now simply it will take your domain name, our subdomain name. WordPress and our domain name numanislam.tk Prolong Type it will take public hosted zone Just create hosted zone You can see this is display successfully created wordpress.numanislam.tk As you can see this is Provide to record type NS SOA. Now I'm going to simply create record. Record name this is blank and value. Open up our EC2 instance. This is our elastic IP. Go to instance.
select your instance this is public ip before address and this is elastic ip address copy it and paste it inside value remember this is elastic ip address and at the top of the bottom it create records you can see record for wordpress.nomanislam.tk was successfully created Hold down you can see this is type a record bind with this elastic ip address now create another record now it will take dog 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 prefix and record type we are going to choose cname and value it will take our domain name copy this subdomain name and paste it here hold on at the top of the bottom create records click here as you can see record for wordpress.nomanislam.tk was successfully created now in here records for now i'm going to open up our cloudflare inside this wordpress this is our subdomain go to edit and replace this ip address with our ec2 elastic ip address copy it and paste over there save now open up our putty now i am going to install mariadb WordPress started with MySQL as its backend, but since MariaDB was developed as a drop-in replacement of MySQL, MySQL can be replaced with MariaDB as the backend for WordPress. This takes advantage of MariaDB better performance in addition to new features like new and improved database engine. Follow the command. To do apt install MariaDB dash server dash y hit enter now i'm going to start the mariadb follow the command sudo System CTL start MariaDB hit enter. Now I'm going to also enable MariaDB. Hit enter. Now I'm going to hit sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation hit enter it will ask current password but I don't have any password hit enter Set root password. Yes, it y Enter. And gives you a new password. Again, gives you a password. Remove anonymous user. It y Enter. Disallow root login remotely. Why enter? It will ask remove test database and access to it. 
it will enter reload privilege table now why enter now this is done now i'm going to install php sudo app install php dash y hit enter Now I'm going to install a couple of PHP extension similarly to extending WordPress core functionality by installing plugins. The core PHP programming language can gain additional functionality by using extensions. PHP extensions are compiled libraries installed in a folder within the PHP installation folder. Follow the comment. Sudo app install PHP dash MySQL PHP dash PD PHP dash common PHP dash MB string PHP dash Arm. PSP dash CLI hit enter now I'm going to restart our internet service the system CTL restart nginx hit enter now I'm going to install PSP FPM or sudo apt install PSP dash FPM dash work Now I'm going to open up our browser, open a new tab, go to wordpress.org slash download, hit enter, scroll down, right click on your mouse, copy link address, go back to our cookie. Now I'm going to call widget comment to download this WordPress file. Hit enter. As you can see, all ls. This is lattice.zip file now we need to unzip this file before unzip we need to install unzip call sudo app install unzip that work hit enter simply now you can call unzip and your file name lattice dot zip hit enter now go to ls command you can see this is unzip this is wordpress folder from this lattice dot zip file Now I'm going to call sudo move this WordPress folder to 
write bar dog 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 html hit enter basically what i do i'm just copy inside wordpress folders and files and paste over there bar dog 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 html now you can simply go bar dog 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 html hit enter ls our what is configuration folders and files now what you do we can simply delete this file and also this file simply follow the command for sudo rm dash rf index dot html and also index dot nginx dash dbn dot html hit enter now you can simply call ls command hit enter as you can see here these two files are missing over there now this is successfully delete now i'm going to configure our nginx Follow the command, go to sudo cd tc and the next sites dash enable now simply remove this sudo command. Hit enter. As you can see, this is going to same location. As you can see here, nginx provide default configuration file. Now I'm going to copy this configuration file for sudo cp default. You can choose anything your file name in my case WordPress dot on enter now you can hit ls command you can see this is created wordpress.conf configuration file now simply call nano this is a code editor you can also use bin enter In this nginx configuration file we need to configure some as you can see here and index.php to the list if you are using php in here we are going to remove this to file and also it will take only index and index.php inside server name I'm going to specify our subdomain in my case WordPress dot Islam 
डॉट ठीक है Inside this location, instead of four of four, in here I'm giving four or slash index dot php question mark dollar sign false. After that. Down. In here, we are going to comment out this location of PHP. And also you can comment out this location. Now hit control X, Y, enter. It will save. It allows. Now I'm going to remove default configuration file. And dash RF. Default, hit enter. And also, I'm going to delete this link of this default configuration. It sudo rm dash rm forward slash etc and gnx sites dash available forward slash default. Hit enter. Now I'm going to restart our Nginx. Hit enter. Now open up our browser. Go to instance. Copy our elastic IP address and close this. Open a new tab, paste over there. Elastic IP address. As you can see, this is WordPress configuration file. Let's go button here. It will take database credential before submit. We need to create our database. Open up Putty. Put MySQL dash U root dash P. Hit enter. Now you need to give your password when you create your database, you are giving your password. Now give it here. For create your database, you need to run query. 
create database our database name wordpress dash noman it and okay it will gives an error syntax error because this death occur okay we can simply our database name wp nomad hit enter you can see this is query worker now inside our database i'm going to create an database user and password follow this query create user and our username wordpress underscore database user you can choose anything localhost identified by gives you password in my case noman one two three you can choose anything hit enter our database username and password successfully added now you need to grant access of your database user or grant all grant all privileges on it will take your database name in my case wp noman to your database username in my case wp underscore db user It will inside single quote. Hit enter. Now you can run Now you can run plus privileges for last query Now I'm going to exit our database before configure our wordpress we need to root permit to this wordpress folders and file follow the command sudo is home it will change owner dash r dog 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 clone dog 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 dash data html forward slash hit enter now i'm going to open up our browser Inside our WordPress configuration file, 
our database name before we are created our database name wp numan and our username you can see wp dash db user and password you can see As you can see here identified by numan123 this is our password now provide our password numan123 database host by default take local host and table prefix will take wp underscore hit submit button here Okay, as you can see, this is all right, Sparky. That means this is you can only run the installation. It run the installation. It will take a couple of information. You can choose anything inside your site title and your username choose anything. In my case, Numan and password one, one, two, three. It confirm password, email address, provide your email address, and install WordPress button here, hit here. Now you can log in with your recently created username, Numan, password Numan123, hit enter. Our WordPress successfully installed inside AWS EC2 instance. Now you can also check with your subdomain s.numanislam.tk. Hit enter. as you can see here this is encrypted ssl certificate in that case this icon don't display here if you are using without https data this is successfully work because our SSL certificate are not installed. We can work another video for that. Now, simply you can do anything. By default, WordPress provide 2 MB media size. Now I'm going to increase. Open up our putty again. Follow the command sudo beam dash etc. PHP version of our PHP for 7.4 FPM forward slash PHP dot INI 
hit enter now hit escape forward slash uploads as you can see here Upload max file size to MB. Based on your requirement, you can choose your file size. In my case, 500 MB. You can choose up to 2 GB, 4 GB, what you need. Another parameter I am looking for post underscore max underscore size inside post max size I am going to replace 500 MB. 500 megabyte now press skip shift colon wq hit enter as you can see our file successfully saved now you need to restart your nginx to do System CTM restart Nginx to do system restart. PSP dash FPM This is required our PSP version in my case 7.4 Hit enter Now go to sudo nano etc inside nginx go to sites dash and about forward slash wordpress dot conf Enter. Inside this server block, Point underscore max underscore body underscore size it will also take 500 megabyte now go to control x hit y enter Now again you need to restart your nginx to do system ctl restart nginx hit enter
Now open up your browser. You can simply upload 500 megabyte. Now I'm going to upload him. Upload team, choose file. This is our custom team. If you want to learn how to create custom theme, you can check my video. Open up our browser, close file, go to desktop. This is our theme. Install now. As you can see, our theme successfully installed. Now activate our theme. This is our theme, our theme name Numan Premium Theme. You can see detail of our theme. Author name Numan Islam, version 1.0.0. You can do anything with the help of this theme. This is our theme. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more, you can comment below.